Part 8, Interest. You will find this on page 60 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Interest. Simple interest. If you borrow money from a bank, you always have to pay for the use of the money borrowed. This money you pay is called interest. Simple interest is calculated only on the original amount, the principal. With simple interest, the interest stays the same every year. Okay, so here is the formula. This is the interest. This is the principal. This is the rate. And this is the times in years. And I divide by 100 because this is percentage. So the total amount is the principal plus the interest. Okay, let's look at an example. Example 10. I invest 3,000 for two years at a rate of 8% per annum. What is the interest I will receive after this period? So the interest is the 3,000, okay, remember that formula, the principal, multiply the rate, 8, and that's why I divide by 100, because it's percentage, multiply the amount of years, that's 2 years. So I will get $480 interest after 2 years. But what is the total amount I will receive back after 2 years? And that will be the 480 plus the 3,000. So it's 3,480. Okay. I want you to do try now 10 number A as well as number B. You can stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay. Let's look at try now 10. Let's look at number A. What is the interest he has? Okay, Jackson borrows 2400 from his bank at 22% simple interest per year. What is the interest he has to pay back after three years? Okay, so let's start with the formula. Interest is the principal, multiply the rate, multiply the time, and I divide by 100. Okay, so let's first, what is the principal? The principal is 2400. What is the rate? That's 22. What is the time? That's three years. And I divide by a hundred. And if I do that, I will get an amount of 1584. So we can say after three years, he must pay a interest of, and now we give you that amount, 1584 point. Okay, number B. What is the total amount he has to pay back after three years? So the total amount, it will just be, remember, it will be the original principal, which was 2400 plus that interest after that three years. And that will give me a sum total of 3984. And that's the amount he must pay back after three years. Okay, let's look at another example. Now, I invest 4,000 for five months, only five months of the year. But this is 8% per annum, and per annum means per year. So what is the interest I will receive after this period? Now, how do they do that? Exactly the same. They take the 4,000, the principal, times the 8, the rate, but now. Because it's just 5 months of a year, they just say 5 divided by 12, because there's 12 months in a year. So they make it a fraction. And then you do exactly the same. You divide by 100. And you will get 133.33. So the interest you will get after five months will be 133.33 Namibian dollar. Okay. I want you again to do try now 11. I want you to do number two. You can stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay. Let's start. It's try now 11, and I'm going to do number 2. Okay. That was not clever. Okay. Aline invests 
uh, principal for four years at 10% simple interest per year. Very important that simple interest that you highlight. It's not compound, it's simple. She received 1,800 interest. Calculate the value of P. Start again with the formula. Interest, it's principal, multiply rate, multiply time, divide by 100. Now, just do substitution. What is the interest? It's 1,800. What is the, the principal? I don't know. But what is the rate? That's 10. What is the time? That's 4. And I divide by 100. And now, I'm just going to say, first do that part. So say 10 times 4 divide by 100, and that is going to give me 0.4p. And now think of the equation. I want to get p alone, so I divide by 0.4. I divide by 0.4, and I will get that the value of p will be 4500. So therefore, the value of p is, and now I can just tell that value, 4,500. And that's my answer.